Good afternoon. My name is Sam Park and I'm here with Alex Rosa and we're at the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center and today the topic of our video is nitrogen application or spring nitrogen application in winter wheat. So Alex, how would you start this process? How would you determine the rate that you want to apply? So Sam, first things first, uh, we should do a good soil sample of the field. And we are when we are talking about nitrogen, we want to take that soil sample from two to three feet deep in order to account for the total nitrate in our uh, soil profile. Now, after we have that number, we can take a couple of different approaches in order to fertilize our fields. We can use the uh, UNL nitrogen calculator, or as a general rule of thumb, we can do we can apply 2.5 pounds of nitrogen uh, per bushel of wheat as a yield goal. But now you have to remember that within this 2.5 pounds, we are accounting for the residual nitrogen that showed up in your soil sample, right? Forms of nitrogen to apply in the spring, uh, those include dry urea, which can be simply broadcast in the field, or if you're more familiar with liquid application, you can use UAN, and that can be applied as a surface dribble or broadcast in the field. And it's important to know that if you're using liquid nitrogen, you can pair up that application with your post-emergence herbicide program. Now, Sam, what's the timing for that application to happen? Sure, so if we did not apply nitrogen uh, in the fall, which is in the case of this field, uh, we want to apply as early as possible if we do not have adequate tillering, because we want to go ahead and support our tillering process as much as possible. Now, if we did have adequate tillering, we can wait to apply our nitrogen until closer to jointing. Now, on the flip side, if we did apply in the fall, uh, we should have adequate uh, tillering and if you are on a sandy soil or a clay soil, you may want to hold off on your application until closer to jointing because uh, that's going to improve your nitrogen use efficiency on your field. And so what the whole goal of our, of our timing and of our application is we want to have sufficient nitrogen in the root zone about two weeks prior to jointing because that's going to maximize our head development and that's going to maximize our yields. And so here in this field, Alex, how about you walk me through what growth stage we have? So Sam, this field that we are standing here, it's about fix two to fix three, which means that we are just on timing that tillering is happening. All right, well, it sounds like about time for us to go out and apply some nitrogen. Thank you all for your time. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-537. 4500